Hey everyone, it's Scott here from the fragrance channel, Scott Aromatico. Welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you guys could join me. Thanks for being here. Guys, we're doing it. We're making it. We're getting through the week. It's already Tuesday, guys. Before you know it, you'll look up and it'll be Friday. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope I can take your mind off the events that are happening in the world or whatever's going on in your life. Hope I can fuse entertainment along with fragrances because I'm really passionate about it and I know you guys are too. And it's a lot of fun talking about something that's really not that serious that we can all just enjoy and love. So guys, as you can tell from the thumbnail, we're gonna be talking about oud. I know, oud, right? It's so controversial. Some people really love it. Some people really hate it. But guys, if you're brand new to the channel, and thank you so much for being here, again, thank you, thank you, thank you. There are some very wearable oud fragrances, so I wanted to do five beginner oud fragrances. However you want to coin the term, that's what we're going to talk about today, so I hope this video helps. And these happen to be my personal favorite, so that would be really awesome if you leave a comment down below telling me your five favorite oud fragrances that are really wearable, especially for a beginner, somebody who doesn't really like that medicinal, harsh opening in a fragrance that you get from oud. So let me know, guys, down in the comments below, but let's go ahead and dive right in. And also, before I get started, guys, I'm really excited because we're going to be doing a giveaway. That's right, giving this decan of Versace Oud Noir from Chef Camps, that's right, from Chef Mo. Guys, all you got to do to enter is finish watching the rest of the video, and I'll give you the instructions at the end, all right? The first one I'm going to talk about, guys, is purely simple. You just bought it for the bottle. I wouldn't blame you guys. This might be one of the coolest presentations around, and that's Oud for Greatness. Look at this bottle. Now, I know, guys, that is a gorgeous, awesome bottle. Initio makes some absolute bangers. I've just got started really discovering this house and learning a lot about their fragrances. Let's go ahead and tell you a little bit about what's in this fragrance. On the top, you've got some saffron, which happens to be a bittersweet note. You've got nutmeg, lavender, and in the mid, you've got the oud, of course, and in the base, you have patchouli and musk, all right? So here is my sample that I'm going to spray right here because I don't have an actual bottle, but I wanted to show you the presentation. And let's go ahead and spray this one, and I'll tell you what I think. Wow. This to me is the perfect introduction to oud fragrances because there's nothing wrong with this fragrance. I absolutely love it. This one came out in 2018. Guys, to me, there's something so comforting, something very masculine, if you will, about this fragrance. It is so gorgeous. The first thing I think of when I smell this fragrance, guys, is I, for some reason, it invokes or reminds me of my grandfather. It reminds me of the pipes that he used to smoke way back in the old days. His pipes had this sweet, almost cookie-like fragrance to them, and they're really, really enjoyable. And that's kind of what I get from this. I almost get, and I, maybe that cookie-like feeling is coming from the nutmeg, and that sweetness is coming from the lavender, and there is a bit of earthiness and a bit of sweetness also coming from the patchouli, guys. But there's definitely something really nice and sweet about this, and it is so, so good. The oud is nice. It's not overpowering to me. It doesn't make me, you know, turn my head or turn my nose. It smells very, very gorgeous. It's very well blended, guys. To me, this is the perfect start to a very oud fragrance. Now, the woody nuances are there. There is a slight bitterness, of course, that you get from oud. But man, this one is so, so good. I really like it. It's very warming. It's very comforting. And it's one of my all-time favorites, guys. I really, really, really love this fragrance. And to me, Initio's Oud for Greatness is the perfect place to start if you're looking for a very wearable oud. And uh, I absolutely love it. And the bottle alone, guys, is just so gorgeous. I get eight hours on my skin from this fragrance. Now, if you're looking to find this one, you can find it on Bemba. I have a link down below in the description for Bemba. You can pick this up for $299. You might be able to find it cheaper in some places and some fragrance groups and you know some swats and things like that. Or you might be able to find partial bottles somewhere at a much lower price. But guys, it's $300. And as you can tell, this bottle definitely, definitely screams opulence and the fragrance itself matches the bottle. It's so gorgeous. I don't know why I don't have it in my collection other, for, other than the simple fact that it's so expensive and whenever I go to pull the trigger, I just hesitate and I'd rather buy like three or four fragrances as opposed to just one. But one of these days I'm gonna suck it up and just buy this bottle and enjoy it and have it in my collection simply for the bottle alone. I know that's crazy, but and 
besides that, the fragrance just smells so wonderful, guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you're looking for a way to, uh, to save money and not spend all that money, look no further than this one right here, Mystery Abood. Guys, this one is spot on, I'm telling you. It is like 85% of the way there. It smells so gorgeous. Side by side, you can barely tell the difference. This one is called Mystery of Oud, and this one is from Aroma Concepts. So guys, check them out. Aroma Concepts is the perfect place to go if you're looking for inspirations. So definitely give this one a try. And for somewhere around the $50 mark, you can't beat it, guys. This is the perfect clone, the perfect dude, the perfect inspiration of Oud for greatness if you're looking to save money. All right, guys. So let's keep it moving. The next one we're going to be talking about is from the house of Tom Ford, and that's Oud Wood. Let me go ahead and put a full bottle presentation on the screen right now. What you have in this is Argo Wood, or otherwise known as Oud. You've got Rosewood, Sandalwood, Cardamom, Vanilla, Sichuan Pepper, Vetiver, Tonka, and amber. Guys, I don't know what you know about oud. Another name for oud is called argawood. Argawood is found in the heart of the aquilaria tree, and it's basically the secretion that comes from that tree, and that is how they get oud. Now, I will tell you guys, just so you know, and I know this may come to a shock to some of you, most, I'd say 90% of the oud you're getting these days is basically being made synthetically in a lab. Oud is so expensive, and the cost of it is so high, if they actually used a lot of real oud in fragrances, guys, they would charge a ton of money for that fragrance. But I will tell you that a lot of it is synthetic and recreated. I'd say probably 90% of it is now these days, guys. But still, it's a great scent profile, and I'm really enjoying it. And it's really great to wear this time of year in the wintertime. Tom Ford's Oud Wood is one of the best ouds out there, and it's very wearable, and it's one of my favorite fragrances. So let's go ahead and spray it now. Man, this smells so good, guys. It is so balsamic, meaning it's so warm, it's so soothing, which is pretty much the term for balsamic. Balsamic is also, you know, any ingredient that is used as a fixer to help the fragrance last a lot longer. Guys, this fragrance is so, so good. It's very creamy from the sandalwood. You get this woody, fresh, spicy fragrance. Now, my only complaint is, okay, I've sprayed oud wood on this hand right here earlier today, and I sprayed um, Versace oud noir on this hand. It is crazy. At the jump, I like the Tom Ford, and then on the dry down, I like the Versace. I thought the Tom Ford was nicer, but then I thought the Versace dried down better, and both did not last very long, which is kind of for this fragrance when you're going to spend almost 250 bucks for this fragrance or a 1.7. Man, you really want it to last. But I will say, man, it is blended to perfection. It's very creamy, it's very woody, but it's clean. It's, it's almost, it's, I know when you think of a woody fragrance, you don't think of fresh, but there's something so fresh about oud wood that I really enjoy. And the oud is not medicinal. It is very clean, it's very well balanced. And like I said, blended to perfection. This is the creation of master perfumer, Richard Herpon. Richard Herpon is the founder and owner of Precious Liquids. You may have heard of them. They're getting a little hype, especially with their fragrance, Blue Agave. And so he is the master perfumer behind this fragrance by Tom Ford Oud Wood. And guys, it's a really good one. And if you're looking for a very wearable Oud fragrance, look no further than Tom Ford's Oud Wood. All right, guys. So like I just mentioned, we're going to be talking about Versace's Pour Homme Oud Noir. I love this bottle. It's very beautiful, guys. Versace makes some real bangers and one of the things I like about Versace is is their prices are very very doable guys this bottle is $54 and some change and that's very affordable for a nice oud fragrance that everybody really really seems to love let's go ahead and spray this one guys wow the top of this is so so beautiful guys it is so gorgeous it's very peppery you're definitely getting something fruity from the orange it is so beautiful, guys. It's smooth, it's sweet, but then it kind of dries down to this clean, woody, almost powdery scent, guys. It is very gorgeous. It's just a nice, nice fragrance. It's got some nice earthy undertones from the patchouli. It's very woody, it's a little bit green. It's soft and earthy. I really, really like this one, guys. Now, my only complaint is, but for $54, can you really complain? 
It doesn't last all that long. I get about four to six on my skin, guys. Same with the Tom Ford Oud Wood. These fragrances are very similar to me. I like the way the Tom Ford comes off the top, but then I like the way that this one dries down. This one seems to be a lot more noticeable on the dry down, and it's just a really, really well-balanced, great fragrance. And if you're looking for a starter oud in your collection, definitely, definitely pick this one up, guys. You can't beat $54, $55. And this fragrance is perfect for the winter time. Um, you're definitely, definitely going to get compliments. Like I said, it does dry down pretty quickly at the four hour mark. And it just becomes a skin scent on me. But it's still just a clean, nice, masculine, fresh scent. All right, guys. Moving right along, the next fragrance that we're going to talk about is from the house of Aqua de Parma. And I've got another sample here. This one is called Colonial Oud. And I'll put a full presentation on the screen right now. In the top, you've got some bergamot, orange. In the mid, you've got oud. You've got amorous, which is kind of piney and citrusy. You've got some coriander, which is a little bit woody and peppery. In the base, you've got leather, sandalwood, cedar, uh, musk, and patchouli. Wow, man, this one is so good. I really, really love this one. I love the bergamot and orange on top. That smells so, so good. It's very, it's like a bright oud. It's blended very well, guys. It's a little bit dusty on the dry down, but I really like it. It's very earthy, balsamic, pottery, just so gorgeous, man. This one is very, very elegant, very classy. I really love this offering from Aqua de Parma. And this one's gonna set you back about $200, depending on where you look. You might be able to get it a little bit cheaper on the discounters, but guys, this one is so elegant, so gorgeous. It's a bit musky, it's a bit animalic, it's powdery. I really, really like this one, guys. It is so nice. I definitely want to own, have this one in my collection soon. Um, you can't beat, man, you really can't beat a lot of the offerings from Aqua de Parma. And I get about six to eight hours on my skins, guys. So give this one a try. This is Colonial Oud by Aqua de Parma. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. All right, guys, last but not least, we're going to talk about this guy right here from John Barbatos. This is John Barbatos Oud. That's the presentation. I think this is a cool presentation and the box that this comes in is almost like niche quality. Uh, if you guys ever see the box, it is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and spray it. I know you guys don't care about packaging, do you? Woo, okay guys, out of all the ooze I've sprayed, this one's actually got the most interesting top. It's very fresh, it's almost aquatic. You definitely get a little bit of the tobacco, a little bit of the nutmeg. It's a lot fresh. The oud is almost undetectable in this fragrance, which is weird because when you're getting an oud fragrance, you really want it to be detectable. But this is very citrusy on the top. You definitely get the rose and the heart. The rose to me really stands out in this fragrance. The oud is not so much. The incense is definitely there, but it's just really, really nice. You've got a little bit of myrrh in this, and then there's amber, which of course is a synthetic note that helps warm up any fragrance, guys. This one is really, really nice. It's very balsamic, it's very smoky, it's definitely sweet, and it's definitely the fresher of all the fragrances I've smelled. It has the most interesting, most mass appealing opening of all the oud fragrances I've sprayed, but it, to me, it probably smelled the oud the least on all of them as well. But for $48, guys, you can't beat the presentation that this comes with, and it's just a, a great fragrance to start with if you're looking for a starter oud. All right, guys, so there you have it. I don't want to make this video last all day, which I already have. I know there's some other fragrances I could have talked about. I could have talked about Mason Francis Kirchon, Oud Silk Wood. I could have talked about Oud Maliki, which a reason why I didn't bring that one up is, is because the Oud is very, is almost undetectable in that one as well. And then guys, give Hugo Boss Oud Aromatic a try as well if you're looking for an Oud fragrance that is for beginners. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my video. And now, what do you have to do to win the giveaway? Well, guys, all you have to do is be subscribed to me, and you must be subscribed to me. Don't subscribe for the giveaway and then unsubscribe, guys. I'll know who you are. And then also, guys, make sure you leave a comment in the description down below, and that keyword is... That's right, you guessed it. It's Oud. So comment down below, Oud. And then make sure you're subscribed to me. Leave a thumbs up, of course. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Now, I will pick the winner on Friday night around 6 p.m. I'll announce the winner. I'll put it in my Instagram stories. I'll announce it on my community post on YouTube. And I'll message you directly. And you have 48 hours, guys, to claim the prize. If you don't claim it in 48 hours, I will pick someone else. 
And guys, this is USA only, sorry, just for the USA. And uh, guys, once I pick you, I'll be sending you this Versa this uh, decant of Versace Oud Noir, courtesy of Chef Cants. So guys, very cool prize. Again, one more time, all you gotta do is enter the keyword, comment down below, which is Oud, all right? Leave me a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, and you've got 48 hours of claim. This will go all the way to Friday, and it'll go to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for USA only residents. Again, sorry for that. That's all you gotta do, and if you win, I'll mail this out to you, and you'll get to try this discontinued fragrance, Versace Oud Noir. It is discontinued, right? I'm not sure about that. Leave me a comment down below if this is discontinued. I heard that it was, so that's one of the reasons why I rushed out to get it because I wanted to make sure I have it before I couldn't find it anymore because all of you highly recommended this to me. And it is a good fragrance for the price. Price proposition, so good. All right, guys, so go ahead. You know what to do to enter the contest. And I hope to see you guys down there, down below in the comments. And thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I really appreciate it, guys. Love each and every one of you. Remember to always be yourself as long as yourself smells so very good. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, love, ciao.